Sometimes the better part of valor is caution. One can be brave, but still take steps to prevent utter disaster. And upon his first steps into this troglodyte-filled cave, Gilwyn is enswathed in total darkness. Even his lamp provides little light here. Quickly checking his supplies before taking another step, Gilwyn concludes that he is far from prepared for this journey. A single bandage, and the only armor being his clothing. What good is earning money you owe if you end up dead before you could ever pay it? Then he remembers what his friend told him. A stash of treasure on the beach on a washed up ship. With luck, he'll find what he needs there. Or at the very least, provide some spending coin to prepare further for this spelunking journey. Gilwyn has had a change of heart, at least temporarily. As he entered the cave and realized how dangerous and dark it was, he realized that he's not quite ready, not yet, to head in there with, what, one bandage? <laughs> so I decided to head back. Um, I decided maybe we should hit the, the beach first and see if there's any good treasure to be found there. If anything, maybe we'll end up getting ourselves some bandages. Uh, so I just, I'm near the town, and actually the town is like right over this hill here. Um, and I went south, as you can see, and it looks like we're coming up on the water here, but I found this little ruins, uh, and there is a supply cache. So we're gonna go ahead and grab everything in the supply cache. So, what, so what do we got here? Tripwire trap, device that must be armed with a compatible item, then triggered by an enemy. So we can set up traps and a couple other things. I'm sorry, do I hear like combat music? Also, these butterflies are making an interesting noise. Can I grab them? I might be able to, just not yet. And we're starting to get thirsty as well. Uh, let's go ahead and drink. Ooh, that actually lightened up some of our load. That's... I didn't expect that, honestly. Uh, let's move this to... Oops. I wanted to put the axe in the, uh... Pocket. We also want to maybe throw... We want to equip this. There we go. Now we're not over overweight anymore. Yep, here's the beach. Perfect, perfect. Alright, so this, I imagine, is where we'll find... The treasure. I hope. I just don't know how to get down there. I don't know if there is a way? I hope falling won't kill me. But I imagine it might. Maybe we want to go up and around. Breaking our legs this early in the game feels like a bad idea. There looks like there's a bunch of stuff down there. Maybe even a campfire not too far? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're sliding. Please don't die. We're fine. We took a little bit of health damage, but nothing too bad. Alright, we are definitely more overweight than I would prefer. Why don't we eat this? That'll get us a little healing for the damage we took, and also free up some space in our bag. Let's uh, move this to the bag. And we can actually eat some of these. We should probably cook some of these berries, too. Why don't we drop this torch? Our pouch is still considered overweight. Let's put that... Mm. I did not mean to eat that beetle. Well, it'll protect us from the cold, at least. <laughs> Thank God. Um, move to bag. We're almost completely... Given our load here. Ah! I'm hitting A and I need to be hitting X. I'm wasting so much. Still overloaded. That's a craftable. Everything has got such use here. Alright, let's just drop this. For now. It'll just do its, you know, serve its purpose. 
So the beach is begging exploration. So let's see what we have around here. Maybe we'll find enough to for money. There's some glowing rocks, which look interesting. Remnants of an old building left standing from eons ago. And, oh, this is just a giant crab seashell. That's fine, I guess. Not seeing a shipwreck, though. I'm hoping the supply stash that I found wasn't exactly what he was talking about. I'm hoping we'll end up finding, like, tons of money. Mm. Do not like that. I think we can sneak. But we have no skill system, so there's no real way to tell if he can t see us or not. Oh, hello? There's a person? Michael Aberdeen. Hello. I can't... I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. Uh, I think it tore a hole in my gut. Help, please, before it comes back. I... I only have two. Uh, but I'll give him one. Again, Gilwyn is looking to be a hero of this world. Not its, a uh, destroyer. I can feel it working. Oh, thank you, lot. I'm not going to die here. Thank God. Oh. Thanks a bunch. Uh, thank you. A million times thank you. I seriously owe you one. I'll talk to Aunt Rissa and make sure you get a full tribal favor for this? Wait, what? This guy, over here, who is not being really guarded by anything... Ow. Is gonna get us out of our debt. I don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. Oh, we actually did it. We actually accomplished the task. Okay. Does that mean I can go back? And everything's gonna be fine? Thanks a bunch. Okay. Uh. Interesting. Let's head back then to the city. Let's rest in our home. And from there, we'll see if uh, maybe it'll it'll kind of wipe away the debt because then that'll really free us up to explore and uh, try and improve and become better adventurers in this world. Something that I, I really want to do. I guess let's go ahead and pop this, take this lantern out and head back. And then we can come back and see if we can find the uh, shipwreck at some point. Or we can attempt to do that quest regardless, because she is going to pay us 70 silver for it. Which is really, really good. I also uh, desperately would love a new backpack. This satchel is not great at all. Uh, and is absolutely holding us back. Whoop! Time to run. I have no interest in fighting in the dark. We are lacking any ability to really see what is happening right now. And I'm a little afraid I'm going to get lost by just sprinting in the wilds. As getting lost is absolutely possible in this area, or in this world, if you don't know where you are. And you're just kind of running for your life. But as long as we're heading in the general direction we know the city to be in, we should be okay. At least, that's the hope. Maybe if we get back enough, these hyenas will be attacked by the city guards. I think that's the town right there. Yep, that's the lighthouse. That's how you know we're in the right spot. Would you like to attack this bird? There's more value in this bird than there is in attacking me. I guess not. Here we are! Back home. We did not leave long. And, uh, already... I feel like we accomplished something. There's something over here. Hatchet. Nothing useful. Not yet. Okay. Let's make it back home real quick. Oh. Rufus. I'm Holy glad hell. you survived the wreck. The glowing sword is new. When did you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning to go join the holy mission of Elat before Mother could stop but me. With the oh, we already knew that. It wouldn't be right to leave so soon. I know. 
Risa has already promised me that she and I will be having a long talk. You should just go now. You're abandoning your name and home anyway. Forget staying in the mourning period. No, I hope she convinces you. I'll miss you if you leave. I know. I'll miss you and Izan too. But this is the path I choose to walk. I'm done letting Rissa decide my life. I want to be part of the greater good, not rule over people. Yeah, see, that's how Gilwyn feels. Farewell, my friend. We both have work to do for Serzo's sake. That's true. We certainly, certainly do. I actually haven't looked at the shop yet. Let's see what he has to sell. Is there something you need? I'd like to buy something. So what does he have to sell over here? Better clothes, armor. He does have a better backpack. We actually have money stashed, and now that we don't need to hold on to everything. Oh, hey, we have the writ of tribal favor here next to us. We should go give that to Rissa then. Okay, we have money in our chest and a better backpack. Let's immediately upgrade our backpack if we can. Then we'll go ahead and stash up some water, and then we'll go take care of that quest in that dungeon uh, for some, some pocket change that we're gonna need to just become that much better and hopefully that much more uh, resilient in this dangerous and unforgiving world. Being a peasant in a place like this certainly is not fun. All right, well, we're back home. I'm gonna sleep until morning. Um, when we sleep till morning, at least it'll be daylight out and I'll be able to find where I need to go. I don't know if there's anything else I can do down here. I haven't really tried. I thought, you know, maybe you could do some crafting. Yeah, you can use the kitchen. Uh, let's go ahead and make jam out of all the berries we collected. And then we can make some gra uh, graberry tartine. There we go. Okay. Just taking all of our food and kind of just compressing it, I guess, in a way, to make sure that we have ways to live and carry more in our bag before we get overwhelmed. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. I'm gonna keep the fishing harpoon. I feel like I need to carry all the bare essentials here. We're gonna take all the money out. Iron spikes. I, I guess this iron spikes plus the trip wire might make me what I want. Incendiary charge. And I guess we'll stash two of the wood for now. And let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Till sun rises. Then we'll go to the town hall and we'll give Rissa, uh, who seems rather at least understanding, the writ to let us free from this debt that we owe this town. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these boots and stuff. Wear them. And I might want to break these down, but I think I'm just going to, for now, whoop, for now, just stash them. Okay. So Rissa is gone, but she should be in the town hall. Um, we are here. Town hall is way down there. We just follow the outskirts, essentially, and we should find it no problem. hear a noise? Oh, there's a quarter staff over here as well. I don't know how valuable that is in the current moment. Alright, let's see if Riss is in town hall. Hello, Rissa. Wow, look at that. It's like a whale beast. Greetings. How go your efforts? Um, I want to talk about my blood price. You have a way to make that payment. I have earned a Show tribal me. favor, Rissa. Rissa. I've earned a tribal favor, Rissa. And on time, too. I'm impressed. Gilwyn, you've proven you can be an excellent asset to the tribe when you put your mind to it. Well done. Sierzo thanks you for your great deed. Thank you. Oliel and Izan are leaving Sierzo. You should speak with them before they go. Uh, I didn't know Iezan was leaving. I knew Uliel was. What do you mean they're leaving? What's going on? Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Uh, nothing I could say would convince her to stay. Mm. 
I'll miss her around here. As will we all. I don't suppose you could convince her to stay. She may. She is my only daughter, set to inherit the clan when I join the ancestors. No, I don't suppose you'd be able to convince her. Her mind is made up. And he's on? Why is he leaving? He can't be ready for another expedition already. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. Oh. Oh. Hearing those words, Gilwyn's heart sinks just a little bit. Izan took him out, and he was the reason that he had a chance at least paying back his blood debt, even if it didn't happen. The ship crashing is not his, his fault. Uh, the shipwreck that killed so many of our people and nearly took your life was the fault of Izan's brother, Roland. Oh, that's why a blood price. A blood price been declared upon his bloodline. Oh, Roland, why? How can you be so sure? <sighs> Roland fell asleep on duty. Ah. He confessed as much to me himself. This is unacceptable. Roland accepts the consequences of his action. Ezen refuses. He has chosen exile himself from Sierzo forever rather than to, his du to do his duty to the tribe and bear the blood price. I mean, I can't blame him. He did nothing wrong. Punishing her, but why Ezen? The blood price must be levied against an entire bloodline. Otherwise, the one who bears it would be pu uh, pushed to act selfishly rather than repay what is owed to the tribe. Against a line, it can be held for as long as it needs to. Against an individual, it promotes only bloodshed. I mean, I can kind of see that, but it still feels uh, and sits uncomfortably unfair in uh, Gilwyn's stomach. The blood price is not a punishment. It is a repayment for a wrong. that allows those who have suffered to get their fair compensation without violence. Without it, it would be ruled by revenge and mob rule. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Sierzo, now that you can handle the world outside. Well, I wouldn't say I handled the world outside particularly well, but we got we got through. Well, let's speak to the two of them uh, and head to a shop and see if we can pick up that better backpack. Ideally. This farmer, just hanging on to the rake and taking a rest. Is this her? Nope. There he is. Evening, sir. Is there something you need? Yeah, I'd like to buy something. Uh, a better backpack. Weak flame. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Equipping this backpack slows your dodge. Balance back commonly used by travelers. I mean, we need this. I don't like throwing 25 away, but we need it. Okay. So now we have the backpack. Now let's figure out how to freaking switch things. So. I want to equip it. Oh, okay. And we can open it. Okay, and we can just do that. Uh, we'll just take it all. Am I over encumbered? A little bit. Let's put this into bag. The bag can hold 50! My god. Move to bag. Oh, it's burning. Oh, it just hangs on the back. That's awesome, actually. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm just genuinely surprised. So now we can carry this. We can move all this ammo to the bag. Um, we'll put the money in the bag. I'll keep the flint, the hatchet, the machete. A spare machete in the bag. Let's keep... Oh, I hit A. Sometimes it's moved to pocket. Sometimes it's used. What one it's going to be? Who knows? Ugh, that's frustrating. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. Am I in your way? I'd like to pick up the primitive satchel and, like... But I guess we have to leave it on the ground? Is it worth anything? Nothing. Well, we actually have cooking supplies and everything. We actually look like a proper adventurer. Do you have linen? Is there something you need? Or bandages that I could just grab from you? Yeah. Let's buy a few bandages here. Uh, they're three each, so let's grab three for nine. And now we're broke. Incredibly, incredibly broke, but we're prepared. Okay, uh, let's go and speak to those who are leaving. I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. Did something happen? You're scowling. Mother and I had a talk. 
I didn't like any of what you Risa heard. has done some things I can't agree with. I can't, I can't talk about it. She wants me to follow in her footsteps, and I, I just can't. I already have no desire to be Chamber Lady, and what she told me, I refuse to consider being a part of it. All right. Listen. It's unlikely we'll meet again, Gilwyn. Unless, of course, you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make a, me a lot less nervous. I don't know who Elot is, really, other than, obviously, some collective consciousness that's alive but was once mortal. I'll think about it. Now we're talking. But I can't blame her. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe or family. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. First, protect and look after those who are in need. Second, have discipline and mastery over yourself. And third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. It's a good set of values to live by. I wonder... In fact, if you join the Holy Mission and give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's the ideal clean slate. Well, I've already paid If you it. do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon, in the Hallowed Marsh. The road you need to take to reach the marsh is in the east of Cher Chersonis. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. The Trail of the Sun Pillars towards the ray of light that flies over Monsoon. Well, and off she goes. Now let's talk to our friend who also wants to leave due to his own blood that brother's uh, mistakes and miscalculations. I take it you've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? I've got one little fishing barge to my name. And by a lad, I'm gonna use it. I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant, never to darken the stain of a city ever again. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. There you go. All right, listen up. It's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the misdeeds of your ancestors. You succeed or fail on your own merits. No one else's. Uh, why so far away? Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. And honestly, the further away I am from my dolt of a brother and that tyrant Rissa, the better I'll sleep at night. Uh, I take it you're not going to forgive your brother, are you? How do you plan on making it to Levant? The sea can only take you so close. I mean, it's in the middle of the desert. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then leg it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. We'll be rationing water the whole way. If I could afford it, I'd have bought potions to help with the heat. But we'll have to try our luck without them. Can I come along? I want, I want out of this place, too. I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim. And on a barge that small, you'd be nothing but a liability. Fair enough. I appreciate the brutal honesty, even if it's not what I want to hear. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, Okay, long so we can get journey. there. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Alright. Let's go back to dear old Rissa and see what she has to say. Then... To the dungeons. We're gonna need money and preparations if we're ever going to make a trek to a giant mountain in the center of the world where we supposedly can trade our life essence for that of magical essence. I think that'll be a really fun little quest to go after. Something that we really want to do is become a wizard in this world because wizarding and, and magic is so involved. It's uh, it's exciting. I'm excited to see what it'll end up bringing us in the end and how viable it ends up being. It reminds me a lot, and a lot of what this game does reminds me a lot of Morrowind, where the adventure is yours to make. The story is there, you could follow it if you choose, but half the fun is exploring the world. There you are. Urgent news just came in. What? What happened? This is troubling. Trouble in Burge. An official council meeting has been called. I'm going to Burg, the main settlement in the Enmakar Forest. The home city of all the tribes, birthplace of our Blue Chamber Collective. If you are able, I'd like you to meet me there. I have an offer. I did not want to spring this on you, I will but... pay off the rest of your blood price. Wait, And what? adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. What? If you pledge yourself to work with me, I'll pay off the rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. Your name would be cleared and your burden lifted forever. My blood price... That's a huge offer. 
My blood price is still worth thousands of silvers. Where is this coming from? It's... complicated. With Oliel abandoning the family, I need someone that I can rely on. Someone I can think of as close as family. And I want to make sure you never have to face a mob like that again. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Only by sharing our burdens as family can we hope to survive in Orai. We are all bound together no matter our origins or our chosen path. Well the then. Indiv the individual pales in the importance to family and, the, and to the tribe. We all give up a little of what we want, making sure that everyone has what they need to survive. It's your choice. I won't force you, but my offer is open to you. Work with me, and I will adopt you into the Aberdeen family and clear your blood price. I have a choice. Your life is in your hands. I can't very well drag you along now, can I? You are an adult. Your life is in your hands. All I can hope to do is try to guide and shape you into someone who acts with the Blue Chamber's needs in mind. You will need to prepare travel rations. If you want to make the journey to another settled region of Arai, you will need to prepare travel rations. If you tra try to travel between regions without enough rations, you will starve before you arrive to your destination. Well then... I mean, he's gonna, she's going to give me some. If you need more, the stores in Cerezo sell some, or you can craft your own with some salt and most types of food. Listen well. I hope to see you in Burge, uh, Berg, Gilwyn. If you, uh, if you wish to commit to the protection of the Blue Chamber Collective, meet me there. Take the road to the southeast of Chersony. Well, that's also a tempting offer. We have a lot of options before us. And now, I feel like the world is open. There are three distinct storylines you can go through in this game. Uh, I think those might have been the introduction of all three. And you can only do one of them. And the game is saving at all times, so you cannot reload ever. Everything you do is a permanent decision uh, on your on your sheet, more or less. You can never reload and redo a save. So, we have a, an objective, though. We're a little bit better prepared now. And we have 70 silver to make. It's not bad. And if we can get that 70 silver, that will really help us in preparation for making a large trek out even further. Oh, you're still here. I did not realize you would still be here. All right, this hyena wants me. Fair enough. Are you gonna... S All right, well, let's see if he f chases, if I just leave. He's kind of just going in circles. Okay, so far so good. Easy enough. We'll take it all. And we'll keep moving. Now, the travel out to uh, this area where the troglodytes are is not that bad. And honestly, not that treacherous. Could be a lot worse. We'll get there with plenty of daylight ahead of us, and we'll be able to hopefully set up camp within the cave as we begin to delve inside. We have plenty of rations and food to last us, and we have a few gulps of water still. Uh, and if we wanted to, we could always go back to town and refill our water, which we probably should have done before we left, but hey, decisions are decisions, and we have to live with them. Um, the other thing we could do is if we find water that's not, you know, necessarily worth uh, drinking, like salt water or maybe just maybe some bad poisoned water, uh, if that's something that we can come across, then we can boil it and uh, make it drinkable. There's always going to be bandits out here, too, it seems. Oof. Blood on the... F Man, that got decayed fast. Probably picked apart by wildlife. Southeast Conflux Mountains. So, that there. There is where the whispers of magic are told. And if we're ever going to get there, that's going to be a hell of a journey. I'm excited to make it when it happens. But for now... Let's think a little smaller. And a bit more, uh, in our wheelhouse. Uh, the telltale signs of the troglodytes. This should be interesting. And hopefully not that bad. Um, we're gonna... How about we, we assign some quick skill stuff real quick? Uh... An item. Let's get the bandages. There. Um, we're going to want to move the bandages into our pockets, because if we get into a fight and we pull our backpack off our shoulders, uh, we will not be able to use our bandages, because the backpack is in... Uh, the bandages are in the backpack, and we're going to want to make sure that's not the case. So let's go into our inventory real quick. Move to pockets. There we go. So we always have the bandages ready for us. All right. 
here we are. Let's pull our mace and start heading in. Is that the mushroom she's talking about? And a, de a dead person immediately. Adventurer's corpse, an iron sword, rage potion. We'll go ahead and take that. Alpha sandwich for all alpha males. Bitter spicy tea, concoction that instantly cures infections, protects against cold and restores burnt stamina. And an iron sword. I'm curious, before we push on, let's take a look at this iron sword. So we currently have 22 damage with this with the impact of 25. Yeah, this is just straight up better, but if this ever breaks or becomes not usable, then we'll go and use it. Gather some green mushrooms. It's not what we're looking for. All right. <laughs> See if we can break those pots. Troglodytes, troglodytes. That's all I want to see right now. I can hear movement in the distance. Yep, there's one right there. We'll get the star mushroom. We'll move in. Ideally, we only take on one at a time here. Okay. Okay, easy enough. Want to get one more in? Easy. Blood mushroom. Peculiar toll stool that gives headaches when eaten raw, but it is ingredient in health restoring elixirs. Go ahead and take that. What was the quest specifically? Get the mushroom shield from the depths of the blister burrows. Get the mushroom shield. That's what we need. Troglodyte trident. I mean, could be good to sell. A tiny aquamarine is required. Interesting. I can feel myself getting very lost in this place. But I'm going to try and stay genuinely going left so that when I want to make my way back, we could just start going right. And yet here we are in an area that looks immediately inviting to the right. And then out this way, some still dust. No mushrooms here. All right. A corpse. Alchemy kit, we absolutely want. Mana stone. Soothing tea. T it takes hours after drinking this to fully recover from the cold. We'll go ahead and take it. Concoction that provides relief from warm and cold temperatures. Sure, we'll take all of them. So we actually have another quest, I, I believe. Bring crystal powder, which can be used using an alchemy kit. So we need to make that. I think we can actually go ahead and make crystal powder. Manual recipe, which would be... I'll have to mess with that after then. I'm not quite sure how we will end up doing that, but we got what we need to make it, I think. I hear... I, know, I can see one, but it feels like there's more than one around. Well, let's go ahead and... Got a hit. No, he's running. He's running. I didn't realize he could do that. Get out of here. Absolutely not, sir. Another blood mushroom. And we're getting a little thirsty. We have a few sips still of our of our canteen, though. Take a drink. Murdering is hard work. Mushroom shield. Yep, that's exactly what we want. All right, we've actually got it. Yes, gather, please. Immediately refilled. 
And we're, our thirst is quenched. So we're good. This leads nowhere. Perhaps just a living area for the troglodytes. A place to rest and relax. I'm hoping that when you kill enemies in, in these dungeons, they stay dead. Let's swing up here real quick and see if there's anything worth grabbing. More clean water. Lots and lots of clean water out here. Yeah, another troglodyte. Yes, I know rolling is bad right now. Okay. Got him. Star mushroom, I'll take it. And then further into hell. Yeah, this looks like a, a hard slope. I don't want to slide into an area I can't actually get back from. I think realizing he's done a fine job, uh, our dear friend here is going to get the hell out and bring it back and hopefully make a little bit of money. Not only from handing her the, the obvious mushroom, but at the same time being able to crush down a mana stone that we found on a dead man's corpse. And uh, maybe make a little bit of cash that way as well. Anything to put some money in our pockets to allow us to really start gearing up for longer, more adventurous treks. The first goal we immediately have is to... Uh, yeah, it's through here is to get to that mountain, to really start with the magic, but that's going to take a lot of preparation and a lot of time. Still daytime, we actually weren't in there all that long, which is good to know. And you'll notice the longer we're out, the further and the lower and lower our max stamina and max health become. If we are actually doing incredibly well while we're out, we will still have to rest because our stamina will slowly go down or the max that we can have will slowly go down. Uh, because of just the trials and the general exhaustion of, of, ex of, oh, it's almost burnt out. The general exhaustion of, of just traveling out in the wilds. Well, we needed the, we needed that as, really? All right, let's fight. We needed that, that lantern either way. Okay. Well, don't fight me next time. How do I turn off my lantern? You would think you'd be able to, to just turn it off. Put out. There we go. So we're going to have to refill it, I guess. Am I bleeding? Or do I just need bandaging? So I just need bandaging. That's not a big deal. We can make that happen easily. It looks like there's more ruins over here that we might be able to get a quick loot on before we head back to the main city. Yep, there is something up here. Supply cache. More trip wire. We'll take it. Trapping is going to be uh, great importance. When we have bigger enemies or more enemies to take on. Yeah, the enemies actually just stay laying around. I wonder if that's the way it's forever. Oh, we have to deploy the alchemy kit? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Hang on. Let's 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 go outside. We might be able to play the deploy the alchemy kit out here. If that's how we actually have to use it, uh, then then that's why I didn't know that's how that's why the crafting aspect of it confused the hell out of me. I didn't know we actually had to place this down. To be used on a lit campfire. Got it. All right. Well, then we need to make a campfire first. Um, go ahead and craft a campfire. We have a campfire kit added, so let's go ahead and put this down right outside. We'll put it just off to the side of the road here, so we're not being ridiculous and blocking off the streets. Not that it matters. We'll go ahead and place that. Okay, now we'll take our alchemy kit. We'll place this down. We'll light the campfire. There we go. Use the alchemy kit. Manual recipe. Let's see what happens. Invalid combo of ingredients. And it just used the ingredient. Well. 
That didn't work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Let's just disassemble. Uh, turn this off. We can leave it there. We'll always have a campfire just outside of the city if we ever want to uh, do some crafting, I guess. Good evening, fairest Helen. I've taken Greetings, care of your quest. Friend. I may have Lend something for you. This unusual item. Wait. Greetings, friend. Lend me your ear. I found the mushroom you wanted. You've earned this. Hell yes, 70 silver. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, Gilwyn. You more than earned your reward. Absolutely true. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Um... I'll see you. Goodbye. That was wonderful. All right. Another day uh, put into the books. Let's sleep until morning. And then, um, let's go ahead and swap this, actually. We should take a torch and a, and and one of the lanterns. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn this off. I do wonder, actually. Clearly, we need to be able to put oil in this stuff. And I have some, don't I? Thick oil. Yeah, used to refuel lanterns. So I imagine what I can do is throw a lantern in and the thick oil in. We can craft it. There we go. Old lantern recipe has been added. We got iron. Oh, if we want to disassemble, we can iron scraps it. Okay. Let's turn this off. Let's nap and rest. And the next quest won't be too far. All right. We're prepped. Ready to hit the world. Uh, what we're going to do now is head back into the storage of the city and see what is sitting at the back of that potential small dungeon. Uh, maybe some better loot, or maybe just some money for us, but... I stored all of our valuables, the things I care most about. Uh, money, specifically, and things that are weighing us down. And we'll take everything else in with us to the storage dungeon, I guess. We'll see what this thing has waiting for us. We know troglodytes sit in, the, in that dungeon at the very least. Let's throw the torch on. Very little light, but better than nothing. A pickaxe, and nothing more. Man, it is so, so dark. Right, we they had a fire up here at least. So now the question is, which direction do I go? I guess left? Okay, and that might cut across. No, no map definitely means we have to pay a lot more attention to where we're at. Whoa, there's a sign down here. And it looks like green grass? Danger, going forward will strand you in the wilderness until you make your way back to the village. Ah, we'd fall over the edge there. All right, well, we definitely don't want to do that. I don't want to be stranded in the wilderness quite yet. I was hoping there was going to be more to this little dungeon than just that. Well, that actually genuinely might be the only bit of the dungeon there is. A couple of troglodytes just to introduce you to the enemy, maybe. A little camp area that you can come back to relatively easily. And then off to the side, this kind of just leads to a dead end that loops back over this way and heads back into the wilderness. So let's see exactly where in the wilderness it strands us. It can't be far. We'll probably be near the beach would be my guess since this kind of leads past the, uh, yeah, let's go. This kind of leads past the lighthouse and our particular place of residence. And let's see where it dumps us. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw bandits out here who have figured out that this is a little entrance to uh, our little storage unit and maybe raid it regularly. Oh no, it just leads to the beach where we found that guy and a crazy big starfish. Well, this also means we can see if the, sh the shipwreck has anything worth grabbing. Oh, and there's fish. Yeah, and you can see we could take our pike. Boom. We got blue sand and a rainbow, a raw rainbow trout that we can cook up for food. Seaweed, I don't want to gather quite yet. I'm just going to take this out. This shrimp thing scares me. I don't know what to expect out of it, but it's gigantic. And it probably punches really hard too. Oh, oh. Sun is moving. 
Let's see exactly how this thing works. Woo! Okay. Lightning. You hit me? Oof. Yep. Oh god. Oh god, back up, back up. Oh. All right, we got to run. Let's just back up for a minute. Just for a minute and let's bandage. Oh god, he's going to swing. I'm dizzied and certainly not in a good spot right now. I don't know what that debuff at the bottom is. We're going to back away. See if we can stay out of this thing's sight. Yeah, it looks like it's not bothering us anymore. Okay, that hurt. Um, confusion. Impact resistance minus 25, but we're, we're getting slowly healed. All right. This thing's going down. I'm killing it. Unless it fully heals when you don't stop, when you stop attacking it. God, back up. Got him, got him. Ooh, that was risky to take that swing there, but... Oh. Larva egg, inset husk, and another unrefined magma stone radiates raw magic. We'll definitely take that. That makes sense why he was able to use lightning. Oh, man. Okay. Let's keep pushing on. Looks like this debuff is going to stick around for a while, so if there's another shrimp out here, I think Gilwin will... Be a little more concerned for his own health and maybe not engage. But if we find the shipwreck with all that stuff that was supposedly there, then it will end up being well, well worth it for us. More fish. Setting up a camp might not be a bad idea to cook up some food. Not only for our hunger, which obviously is slowly declining, but it also does help to heal a little bit. Still no shipwreck in sight, though. Curious how far the supposed shipwreck was. But we are still going south, and the adventure is leading us this way. Well, Gilwin's journey gets a little cut short. There is no shipwreck to be found, at least not on these beaches, but there is another ship over there. There is a lightning shrimp as well that we would rather avoid. It's been a interesting first few days for Gilwyn, the blood debt having been covered at least temporarily, and the adventures we've set out upon, though dangerous and certainly have brought us close to death, haven't killed us or brought us to our knees quite yet. Gilwyn is still quite the peasant-looking individual, but compare this to how he was just a few days ago in nothing but his underwear washed up on a beach, and we can consider this an improvement. The mountain still calls to Gilwyn. Will he ever make that journey and survive? Well, he'll certainly try. What a joyous turn of events. While he might not have found the treasure or ship he was told lay on that beach, he did find someone in need of life-saving. And saving one's life is its own reward, of course, Gilwyn muses. But it certainly doesn't hurt that he will provide the town with a tribal favor. Now no longer does Gilwyn need to rush into the cave in a desperate attempt to keep his home and push off the blood debt. But now, all he finds in his adventures are for him and him alone to decide what to do with. And as the day ends and Gilwyn stares beyond the walls toward the Conflux Mountains, something inside him stirs. Something in that mountain is calling to Gilwyn.